We're here with Dayron Sharp out in Cali. I just watched you work out here out in LA and um, man, playing with a lot of energy, like a lot of uh, very vocal, shooting the ball well. You look like you're in great shape. So I think what always stood out about you was like your energy, the motor that you played with, you know, defensively, and, and then you could always pass, right? Um, as you look now, like the player you are now, what are some of the main things you think you can bring to the NBA? Uh, I feel like for, 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 um, no one thing I could bring is my rebounding. I yeah. feel like I'm the best rebounding in this class, hands yeah. down. Um, I feel like um, people probably say I can't move my feet when I switch on defense. I feel like I can at least contain a guard and get a good shot contest on them. Um, I feel like I can spread the floor better uh, than I did in high school in my passing, but I feel like I really, I feel like I'm one of the best passing, I'm the best passing player in this draft too. Um, I feel like my pa I could find, I could find guys that people would expect to be open. Yeah. And definitely jump shoots. Like the ball in the post is a double team coming, I'm automatically going to find a jump shooter just like that. Well, we're going to break down your film here and, and we're going to look at different areas of your game called five on five. So we're going to look at five areas where, you know, you, you had a lot of success this past season and then five other areas where I'm curious, like, you know, where you've maybe had the biggest growth since the end of the season. And you mentioned it. I think, you know, your rebounding one is, is you know, elite, right? You're, you're probably one of the best rebounders in the draft. But two, when you decide to run the floor, like, I think you move well for, for a guy your size, right? It reminds me a little bit, honestly, of like a young Isaiah Stewart in, in when you're like revved up like this. Um, what, like when you're at your best running the floor, what are some of the things that you're focusing on, like you see here? Um, I just focus on, cause I knew Ant, like Ant, he usually tried to find me. Uh -huh. Cause anytime Ant, like whenever I'm in trouble, I'm gonna try to pass you the ball there, Ron. Yeah. So I knew I ran down the floor, it was either, I was gonna get the ball and lay the ball up. He came to help, I was gonna kick it to Kerwin. Yeah. But he came to help, but he was smaller, so. I could I bully him I bully him to um, finish finish the shot. Yeah, and bully him is, is the right word, right? I mean, you're a guy who like I think has shown that when you're fully motivated like this, you can change ends. You know, like if you look at this, I mean, what's what's your goal here? Just catch two feet in the paint. My goal was to, to um, bury him under the rim, so yeah. I could just go straight up, and that's what I kind of did. Cause Lasiewski, I felt like he was smaller than me. I could um put him, bury him under the rim. Yeah, and, and, and just having the motor to, you know, run the floor that hard, right? And um, teams like to get up and down in the NBA, and, and I think with your new conditioning, you can fit that, right? I can fit that. And then also on top of that, the offensive rebounding is elite. I mean, I think it's like almost seven offensive rebounds, like, for 40 minutes. So we have a couple different looks at, like, some of your, your moves, right? Mm -hmm. Like, in, in your opinion, what makes you so good on the offensive pass? Uh, when, it's, when the ball go off, soon they leave my, the shooter hand, I'm trying to – Get in front of you, trying to find a way around you. Yeah. Like the whole time, I'm they sh the ball going all come out the rim. You better be trying to boss me out because now I'm going to get it. And then this one is just like busting through the line almost. <laughs> Take me through this one. He he ain't put his body on. Me. He tried to hit me upper body. Yep. And I feel like my upper body is one of my strongest, my strongest things. It's stronger than my lower body to me. And you see where he ended up. I mean, on the ground. <laughs> he, he, he got hit me low. He right. hit me upper. He hit me low. Yeah, and, and then he's on the ground, multiple efforts, you know, playing with that type of energy, you know, I mean, that's huge. And, and so, you know, one of the things that, and, and we saw it today, right? One of the things that people may have questioned is the shooting, right? Mm -hmm. um, when did you first start, I guess, like taking threes? And and what type of shooter do you think you can be in the NBA? I started taking threes, like, fourth grade. Yeah. But like, you know, like Shaq said, like, people, why you don't ever shoot, Shaq? They can't stop me to paint while I gotta shoot. Like, right. I always can shoot, but like I just nobody can ever stop me to paint. So yeah. but in the league, everybody can be my size or like even bigger. So I feel like it's more thing I gotta show more if I can shoot the ball. I kinda felt like it was the same thing in college. Like most of the time in the paint, like nobody wasn't as strong stronger than me. Right. So I really had to shoot like that. And so how big of a part of your game do you think it will be at the next level? Um, I feel like it'll be a big part. Yeah. I feel like when um after the draft when I wherever I get drafted to um, and they see that I can shoot, they, and I start playing games, and they, yeah. I'm shooting threes. Like everybody, like, where was it in college or yeah. high school? You know, it's gonna be like a big shocker to people. Yeah, that's huge to have that in your game with the way the game is trending. Because there were times in college, right? Um, you know, if you're not a threat, it, it becomes more difficult to even like play make and do some of the things that you do well, right? Mm -hmm. What do you see here? Would you take this if you're looking back? Yeah, well, yeah I should have shot that for sure. That's a jumper for sure. And you are really good with your high lows and everything like that. And just to show that you've always had that touch though. Um, here, a little flash to the elbow and not even thinking about it, right? Are there any bigs in the NBA you look at and you're really studying or you say like, I, I feel like I could play that type of role? Uh, I like, I like, you know, when it comes to superstar bigs, I feel like yeah. I like, I like Joel B in the yep. game, uh, how he 
feel like he um he could he a bruiser too. Yeah. Uh, I like Jokic too. You know his passion. I feel like it's the one thing I could bring to an NBA team. My passion. Yeah. Um, it comes to like the hustle. And yeah. I'm a hustle player. I could do that too. You know I could do it all. I feel like I can do bring a little bit of it all. You feel me? Yeah, the feel, the hands, the touch, the shooting, the rebounding. You mentioned it. I mean, all that. Certainly, I think, a big part of your game. And just to talk about the, the, the passing now, right? So a lot of this is, is a product of, like, them even having to guard you out there, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because if they do, then you can really, like, exploit these high lows and stuff like that. Um, is this one of the areas you're most comfortable, these high lows? Um, just quick read, right? I just I just know he's going to be open. Yeah. Because, like, when I play with Mondo and Garrison, they – Usually they gotta they do a good job holding their person off. Yeah. So I just and Walker usually they got too small for Walker, so I just try to pinpoint it to the rim for them. Yeah. But like usually my teammates hold it had a good um, good job holding them off. So I just find the high low easy and like a lot of times the guy that's guarding him don't really be expecting me to throw the high low. He he be ball watching or he yep. be looking at the other man and like when soon he turns his head I just throw it up for for a lob or something. Um and we saw even some no looks and stuff like that this year. This one off the dribble, um putting it down like Feeling pretty comfortable attacking, right? Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable attacking. Mondo got to finish that. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> yeah, he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, killing your assist stats. Um, Mondo, just to show that, like, you know, if they got to guard you out here, then you can put it down. He's going to help up, lose his vision of his man, and then a great pass, right? Um, so I, I definitely think you have that ability. And then really good, too, with these kind of give and goes, too. That's almost like a old school look. Yeah. What do you see here? Um, when I pass the ball... He turned his head right away. I, I, I see I could have slipped right behind him. Yep. And it's a good pass by Garrison. Yeah, being a ball mover, right? And then even sometimes face some double teams. Um, I mean, this is a quick instinctual read. What What are you looking at here? And, and how do you know that, like, he's going to be open so quickly? In this game, Coach already told us UVA was going to double team the post. Okay. So as soon as they double team, I was already looking for Mondo. Yeah. And I already knew he was going to be at the rim. So I kind of just heard it turn around and threw it to him. So if that if that number two right is able to get there in time, then who are you looking at? Play tip, play tip to be wide for a three. Yeah, wide open, right? Wide open. Um, again, yeah, just to show the vision. I mean, it's I think like you said, you know, one of the best passing bigs in the draft. Um, okay, so one thing that I think every young big needs is kind of like the short roll float game, mm-hmm. right? Um, and I know not a lot of spacing in the college game, and you end up getting the getting the foul here. How much have you worked on those like little touch shots, and how big of a part of your game do you think that'll be? Um, when I was at UNC, I used to try to work on my touch shots every day. Yeah. Uh, I try to shoot. I try to shoot 200 jump shots at the practice, and then I look. I go shoot floaters. Yeah. Hook shots. You no, know, because like I gotta be. I'm a big. I gotta right. have that touch around the basket. It's one of the things I gotta be good at. Um, so that I try to work on that every day too. And I see you guys working out of short rolls and stuff like that out here too. Um, and you're going to be playing in those, you know, four on three situations where you can use your passing, use your touch, and you're strong, but you probably got Gobert waiting for you, waiting Giannis, for me, yeah. you know, all those guys, all right? Those guys. So you got to be more creative and have those that touch. And I think this next clip shows a perfect example of the touch that you do have. I know it's not a short roll situation, but you know, you got to switch on you, and then I mean that's where you can really eat, right? Yeah, in the post. I thought Scott was finna block that though. <laughs> Almost did. Almost did. Um, but again, yeah, just I think you're a guy too. It's like a switch heavy league, right? Switch heavy. So do you feel like you're someone who can punish those guards yeah, in the I post? Feel like, I feel like if I get somebody smaller on me, I can yeah. I can give it to them. I so, feel like, and I feel like if I got somebody bigger on me, I feel like I'm like I feel like for my size I, I can move. Yeah. I can I can move better than people my size. I feel like I can, um so somebody bigger than me is the slower, I feel like I can Give him a bucket too. You seem comfortable kind of playing out of these handoffs too, right? Exchanging. Um, what you know, this looks pretty basic, but what are the keys to this? Um, cause they were, since they were playing back so far, he already he are it basically playing like drop coverage. Yeah. So he already far he's too far back. So play tip. If I set a good enough screen, either play tip was gonna have a pull up or a pass me. So I try. I think I set a good enough screen. He and he seen that play tip could have shot a jump shot. So he tried to bite out too much. That's a good pass by play tip, and I finished it. And, and your screen setting too, I think, is is one of your strengths as well. Like you set some hard ones this year. Yeah, huh? I like I like to say big body Miyagi's. That's what I call them. Big body Miyagi's. <laughs> where, where does that come from? Oh, um, <laughs> you just play two K, and that's what they just start calling it. <laughs> big body. I like that. Big body Miyagi's. That could be your nickname. <laughs> um, do you have a nickname? Nah. No. Nah. All right. We'll work. We'll work on that. We'll get uh, make some T-shirts. Um, but again, I think your screen setting and the patience too with it. Like you're a guy who holds your screen long enough 
to where like, okay, they turn the corner and then you get out of it quick too, right? Yeah, I get out of it quick. And then when you can catch with a head of steam, then you got to watch your head, right? No, I'm trying to dunk it. <laughs> no, really, really, really impressive stuff. So then, all right. Now, defensively, in high school, I feel like you were you were like a defensive guy, right? That I feel like I could, I that did. was your game in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah, and, and so how what type of defender do you think you can be with that in mind at the next level? Because so much of it now is switching and stepping out, and how do you think you fit in? I feel like um, I feel like I'm a smart defender. Yeah. You know, like I feel like if I know it's a fast guard, I'm not finna go press him up. Right. Like if I'm guarding Davion or something, I'm not yeah. press him up. Like usually right. I try to guard Davion, I try to like leave it like a little bit of room. I so you can get the contest, but keep the contest, and I can still yeah. guard the drive. So like, I try. That's how I try to do. Like if he hit the shot in my face, he like he hit the shot in my face. Yeah. But like at least I got a contest or there or almost blocked it or something. Yeah. You know, I try to try to play it smart. What were you guys in normally? Like, is this supposed to be a hard hedge? Um. I think it was, cause then, cause uh, halfway through the season we started playing back. Okay. So I think I suppose a hard hit is that. And so you know probably just give them more of a one or two slides right to deter the ball handler. And this one was earlier in the year too, right? Yeah. Okay, you're hedging, and you know that's a, that's the way NBA guards probably pick up cheap fouls, right? Mm-hmm. But at the next level, you're not going to be playing out of hedges as much. You know, it's more drops and switches, right? Um, so what about this one here against, against Florida State? Anything you would have done differently here? I would have backed up from yep. the start. It was last second, and yep. Ray wasn't. He on our scouting point he wasn't a shooter. I should have been backed up a little bit more and playing the drive. Yeah, you know, I wasn't expecting him. Was, I wasn't expecting him to go as fast off the um, screen. So exactly what you said earlier, right? Giving yourself enough space, understanding who's who, and how do I use my length effectively and, and your smarts, right? And then he turns a corner. Um, but more often than not, I think you really have the ability to like use your IQ, your length. It's like this one here, right? You're giving yourself enough space. To, to be there to contest, um, but also keep the ball in front. He loses it, your ball, right? Like, what's what's your goal in this situation, I guess, as he comes off? Uh, Isaiah, uh, Juan, he was yep. on that scout report. He was a streaky shooter. Right? Yep. He hasn't hit him in three so far during the game. Uh, so I was just trying to hold him. I really was trying to hold him off long enough for Leaky to get back because yep. he wasn't shooting a jump shot. I was going to pick mine up, but it just happened so that he drove into both of us. Yeah, this is, I, I think this is great Like you, because you got to be in position, right, to – Keep him in front and alter the shot, but get back to yours, right? Mm-hmm. And play that like cat and mouse game, we'll call it. And and so I think you know that's that's good defense right there. And and this I thought was one of your best clips of the year. Like this shows kind of everything, right? Um, so first you're denying the entry, okay? Um, to, here, talk me talk me through this play. Do you remember this or no? I remember. I remember all the plays. Yeah. So mm-hmm. what do you remember from this? Coach Roy always wants to deny first pass. Yep. And I forgot his name, but um. It's okay. You're denying him. Yeah, I'm denying. I'm denying him, and he put his dribble up. So I'm like, it's definitely denying them. So no matter yep. what my dude was going, I was going to deny him. And then I seen him, so I was going to help out with him. He set the screen. Yeah. Here's this. Yep. Okay, so your goal here now is like not let him get behind me, right? Mm-hmm. So then you backpedal. I hit it. Quick hands. And now they're completely out of sorts, right? And the RJ got back, so I was running back to the goal to get mine. So so much of this too was just like energy and effort, right? And, and when you're playing revved up like that, I mean... When I first got here, too, Don told us, he was like, when you're playing defense, you just don't have your hands or, you know, got to at least yeah. get, keep them honest with uh-huh. the ball handling. So when he came off, he was kind of loose with it, so I tried to hit it. So he can feel you. He can feel me. Like, I love, know my presence. Uh, and, and a lot of it, too, is going to be taking away those pocket passes and, you know, like those throwbacks, lot, everything, right? And what is the wingspan? 7'3", I think. Yeah. So, yeah, you got it for a reason, right? Yeah. Put that to, it. Yeah, got to use it. And you got a decent amount of steals. And I think so much of this clip was all you. It started with denial, then the front, everything. And, and so I think you're a guy who can really be an asset, you know, guarding pick and roll at the next level. Okay, maybe another question that I'll have is like, all right, if you're guarding, I don't know, um, a stretch five, or you're guarding like, say they put Giannis at the five and you're in the game, right? Like how is he going to hold up, right? So we'll we'll show some of the good and the bad here. So 25, do you remember him? Yeah, I remember him. He killed us. <laughs> what does he like to do? Drive. Right hand driver, right? Oh, like it was, but in this game, I had three fouls. Okay. I had like three fouls this time. Oh, because they called you for the, the one little yeah, they touch called, foul. They was calling me for little, <laughs> they always call for soft stuff at ACC. <laughs> but I had like, like and like right then, I really wanted to, I knew he was going to lay, I really wanted to jump and try to go get it, but I had three fouls and, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't afford to get my four right. to be on the bench. 
So maybe if you had it back, you could even like shift your stance, put him on his left, put him on his left, put him on his left. Put him on his left. Um, but I think eventually you're a guy who can go get that if you get beat. Um, but a lot of it is tendencies too, right? So Dawson Garcia, right? Mm-hmm. What is he like? Shoot. Yeah. And, and so that's, why put, that's why I put him up a little bit more. And he's a lefty though, right? Yeah, he left. I should have cut the left off. So he gets down lefty and finishes. But I want to show you that – or gets a foul. But this next one, then you adjust, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me sit on that left, right? Don't let him. Fourth Send him to help. Line. So you see the difference? Mm, I see the difference. Yeah, that's impressive, man. Um, so showing that, okay, I can step out. Yeah, they get a bucket out of it, but that's really good defense, sending him to help. And then, okay, Matt Hurt, shooter. Shooter, step up on him. No, no, no threes. And he, that, that yeah, made him uncomfortable I, I right there. He, he liked to do the step best. Like Matt, Matt then, he, liked, he didn't like to go to the rim like that. It, yeah. He was either, he was going to get the ball in the post, do a fader, uh-huh. he was going to shoot a three, and then if he got a three, he was pump fake, step back, you know, try to get a three. So I already knew when he did his pump, the pump fake, he was going to try to get a three after that. So you want to get him off the line and then make him uncomfortable, right? Yeah, make him uncomfortable. Now, switching on to, like, guards, okay? You remember this guy? Yeah. He killed us, too. <laughs> what would you... I, I knew he was driving left, but I thought I had cut him off good enough for him to stop picking his drill. He just kept going. So it, it, he's a lefty, too, right? Yeah, so I should have cut the left off. Yeah, maybe you shade him a little bit more to right to your help. Give yourself a little bit more space. Um, he won't shoot. Well, he was shooting that game. Man. Yeah, he, he was? was. Okay, so you had to pick I your poison a little bit. Poison. But this was great, man. Um, so t- what's going through your head here? Most of the time when I'm guarding the point guard, they usually try to do a hazy blow by. Okay. I'm going to be honest. That's, yeah. That's their go-to move usually yep. me. So I, was, I, already, I already knew he was going to do a hazy and try to blow past me. So you know he wants the hazy blow by going left. You beat him to the spot. A little swipe. He's on his back. You guys going the other way, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's great defense. I think that's what you can look like against guards. And then so all right, now it's about being like an anchor, right? Defensive anchor. And what goes into that is probably defensive rebound, guard the post, and weak side shot blocker, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the rebounding is, is like I said, is high level, and especially your understanding of like cracking down on the weak side too. So what's going through your head here to where like you when just he, go hit him? When Devin Davis shot the ball and he won't even. He was looking at the goal. He wasn't even expecting me to come hit him, so I just got to hit him and go get it. And most of the rebounds, too, end up where? On uh, long. Yeah, or on the weak side, right? And so because of that, you recognize, all right, let me get there, hit him, hit him get tap him. it, and now we're moving. So when, you, when you're going through, like, your keys to defensive rebounding, like, what's, like, the progression in your head? I know it's different from where the shot is coming from. Um, right? find, find a man to hit. Yep. Just, just go into the room, hit him, and try to go reach the ball as high as point. And I think you're you're gonna bring that. That's your day one skill for sure. Is, is your rebounding? And you mentioned the best rebounder in the draft, and and I would agree. So then it's about all right, being a rim protector, right? Where do you think you're at as a as a, like a weak side shot blocker? Uh, it's either it's gonna get blocked, or it's gonna be a tough shot. Yeah, that's what I feel like. That's, that's what it is. So how do you find that balance? Like I'm curious on this one, right? So how do you find that balance between like okay, I know I either gotta go get it or I gotta find a body to box out, right? Right then, I feel like I should have just boxed Theo out. Okay. So you're reading, like, the, the primary time, defender. I, and I timed this wrong, too. At the same time, he had a whopping layup, but like, I don't even know who that is. I don't think he was on a scouting court for real. So if you time it better, that's going off the glass or into the first row. And then if you feel but better. I, I feel like if I didn't jump, he probably would have made a layup, too, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're in position, right? Yeah. Might as well go get it. Now we're going to show some of the good stuff of – you know, like being in the right position off the ball. And then, I mean, that that's a clinic right there. That, like, that's that's what verticality at the rim looks like, right? Um, what do you see here on this play? Um, I seen that I'm, Henry, not a, he wasn't a shooter. Yeah. So I'm, I'm in the lane waiting, and he threw the back door. I'm, and I didn't think Jeremy was going to try me. <laughs> and he did, so I wanted to block it. Yeah, that I mean, that's perfect. And what are the keys to, like, a good verticality like this? Like, you want to jump uh, when I they jump? Of, yeah, I kind of jump like a little bit after they jump because I'm okay. tall. Yeah. So and then I can wall up and then yeah. they got the, when they bring the cause like a lot of guys they don't usually just lay the ball up fast. They try to like right. catch it up or like double clutch. Double clutch. So I let them do a little double clutch and when they bring the ball out, that's when I try to block it. Take me through this. Just a dead sprint. I was just mad. <laughs> Why were you mad? Cause like we like. We lo- we we losing bad. Yep. And who who threw the ball to Garrison? Let's it was see. me, right? Yep. I'm like, Dad, Garrison. <laughs> All right, listen, we losing. That's a whopping dunk. And I'm like, he not they not finna like they already got a run on us. So I gotta try to stop their momentum. And like that would have been a big momentum shifter for them. 
hundred percent. And and but what you did, that's a huge momentum shifter for you. Yeah, you know, like your head coach gonna look in the, look down the bench and say, all right, I'm gonna put in Dayron because I know he's gonna do stuff like this. Awesome. And he's he's gonna bring the energy, all that. And so I think that when you're at your best, that's who you are, right? This like junkyard dog, junkyard tough. Dog. Is that how you see yourself? I, I, I consider myself. I consider myself a dog. I consider myself a winning a winning person. You know, I got a winning mentality. I lost three games at out of high school basketball. Yeah. Uh, so I consider myself have winning mentality, trying to get my team to win. Like, and I don't consider myself no selfish. But I got to score all the points for us to win. Like, right. I'm, I'm making the the right plays. I thought I made the right plays for our team to win. If, it, if that's me going to score, okay, I do that. But like, if I got to get the ball and I got to get somebody else hot and get on the ball yeah. for us to win, that's something I do. I, I feel I'm a good person at like to play the role to win. You know, I'm trying to be on a team to win. And especially with the way the league is changing too, right? Like. You know, the, people are saying, oh, devalue bigs or, or this and that, or it's and a different people style. People call me a big. I don't, really, I don't really consider myself a big. Yeah. You know, when I first, I started playing basketball in second grade, but by the time my fourth grade year, my trainer was like, you're not a big. You know, people might say that I play big because, like, people can stop me in the paint. But, like, right. during my workouts, I'm, I'm never I'm never really just working on the post. Right. I've always been working on the perimeter and mid-range game. Yep. Um, tough turnaround jump shots, you know, not not just post work, ball handling. I'm always, always working on that. Cause like, I feel like I don't want to be just like a, oh, he was a great big. I want right. to be like he was a great all around player. Right. You know, some, a good player all around, not just a good player in one thing. Yeah. And fitting that modern, modern style. Fitting the modern style. I want to be one of those players. Like when, when you think of all around big, what, what person you think of? Daron Sharp. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's the type of guy I'm trying to be. I like that. So hopefully we look back in a couple of years, we'll pull this clip, and we'll remember you put us on notice, and you said, <laughs> Dayron Sharp is the guy. <laughs> he, told, he told us all. Dayron, I appreciate you taking the time, man. Best Thank of luck. You. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.